Welcome back to another video style crew. If you are new here, I am Rio. In today's video, as you can see, we're gonna be styling the Air Jordan Jubilee 11s. As you can see, I only have three outfits for these sneakers. And the reason why I decided to do three instead of more like I usually would is because with this being a solid black sneaker, you almost can wear them pretty much with anything. So I didn't want to make this video more of a outfit ideas for a black sneaker, more so just how I would wear them. So I just decided to keep it minimal with three outfits and I'm also in the middle of an upload marathon, so I didn't want to overwork myself. Before we hop into the outfits, I just wanted to say that I really do like these sneakers. I was lucky enough to win a pair at my local finish line and went in on Saturday, picked the sneakers up, didn't check the sneakers, which was a mistake, didn't open the box for like four days because I was so busy, opened the box just the other day to put outfits together, and my left shoe has this black mark at the back of it. You probably won't be able to see it much here, maybe you can, but you may notice it in the outfits, it's not a dirt stain, it's just the shoe came with a blemish. I tried to clean it to try to get it off, got it off at one point using some oven cleaner, ironically, and it came right back. I don't know what's on this shoe, but it really just kind of bothers me the fact that I spent over 200 and it came like this. Not much I can do about it. I think I may end up returning these after doing this video, mainly because I didn't know it was like that and I spent my hard-earned money on it and I'm not happy about it. Anyway, that's my mini rant about these shoes. I like them, but they're damaged really. So I don't think I'm gonna keep them. Anyway. Let's get into the outfits, starting with what I'm actually wearing. So for outfit number one, I wanted to keep it pretty relaxed and casual. Here I have on a pair of gray sweats from Mitchell and Ness. These are their pigment dyed sweats that I'm not sure if they sell anymore. I actually got mine off of the UK website. They are in a somewhat mid gray. I also featured a pair in my Jordan 4 video, which was a darker gray than this. They have a white drawstring, which I try to keep visible to keep that separation between the top half and the bottom. And as you can see, I have on a lighter gray hoodie, which is not something I would usually do. I wanted to give it a shot and I thought it worked out pretty well. Usually most of us typically would do the same color or something very, very close. I wanted to have somewhat of a different contrast between the two, and I used a black t-shirt as my layering piece to break up the top and the bottom. Of course, with the sneakers being black, the black t-shirt ties in really nicely. The white midsole is picked up in the drawstring, which of course is central to keep that showing. And the shoes also have a gray or more of like a metallic silver in them, which of course works with the gray tones as well. And then I throw in this black hat just to complement the black tones in the outfit and the sneakers. This is outfit number one. I know it isn't like reinventing the fashion wheel or anything like that, but as I mentioned in the beginning, these outfits are more of things like, you know, I would actually wear. When I leave the house these days, I tend to dress more relaxed and just lay it back from running errands going to the store i typically wear sweats or something like that or some kind of athleisure wear so this is something i would actually wear and i wanted to keep this video pretty true and authentic for outfit number two as you can see i decided to layer up just a bit with this one i decided to utilize the black cargos that i picked up if you saw my asos haul this week i featured them in that video and i also featured them in my 10 outfits for the by Red Force. So if you've seen those videos, these are linked down below in that video, and I will also link them down below in this video. Maybe they still will be available, so you can check that link down below. And before I move on with this outfit, I wanna say that if you have not been watching my content this week, you have been missing out. I have been dropping a video every single day since Sunday. I did an upload marathon Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then of course with today being Thursday, video has been dropping every single day, and I'm gonna continue that until Saturday. Today, I think I uploaded a video earlier today, so two videos came out today, including this one. I know a lot of you guys only watch content like this, it's on this just how to style Jordans. I feel like the majority of my subscribers only care about how to style Jordans, and I do a lot more than that. So I would like you guys to check out my other content. So if you enjoy this kind of content, I would encourage you to check out my other content. Anyway, back to the outfit. What is important to call out is the socks before I move on. The socks are white socks with the Jumpman logo on them, which of course pairs well with the Jumpman on the side of the sneakers. I thought that was like a, a touch that I just had to, to call out. And of course that was done intentionally. I could have went with regular Nike socks, but it defeats the purpose. With the Jumpman being on the sneakers, the Jumpman has to be on the socks. So that's why I did it that way. As we move up, as we can see, we have a black hoodie with a gray t-shirt separating the two. I feel like white would have been a little bit too matchy-matchy with the white socks and with the white in the sneakers. So I wanted to break that up, utilize a light gray t-shirt as the middle piece breaking the top and the bottom up. 
And of course, the overcoat has the black and the gray, which is a black and gray check overcoat. The gray is present in the rest of the outfit. The gray in the overcoat is a little bit darker. Of course, the gray in the t-shirt is a little bit lighter, but they're both gray, so I thought they both worked out pretty well. And of course, like outfit number one, we also do have the gray highlights in the sneakers as well. This is, you know, one of the things I would do with a pair of sneakers like this, just to layer it up a little bit. It is winter time, so of course you can wear a hat, a black beanie or something like that to keep your head and your ears warm. So here we have outfit number three. And let's go ahead and get the obvious out of the way. Of course, this is a Birmingham Barons, white Birmingham Barons Jordan jersey, of course, when he played baseball. Number 45, Jordan 45 at the back. And of course, to top it all off, I have the Birmingham Barons snapback hat on. I've had this hat for years. And when I say years, I mean like probably like 11 years. I used to wear it tons and tons of times and it's actually damaged. The snap on the back is broken. It's barely sitting on my head, but we're making it work. For some reason, I just had to do this combination with these sneakers. Now, I know that Jordan 11s didn't exist when Jordan played baseball. I think he was wearing the Jordan 9s. And then once he returned to basketball, he wore the 10s. And then when he got to the playoffs that year, that's when he started wearing the 11s. But of course, this colorway did not exist. But I just felt like the colorway worked too well with the color scheme, of course, being black and white, duh. But they, I feel like they worked too well with the, the jersey, so I just had I had to do it. The other inspiration I got for this outfit from Jordan himself was wearing the turtleneck under the baseball jersey. I feel like he did that when he actually played. If my memory served me right, I can't really think that much right now. I feel like I remember seeing him wear a black turtleneck under this jersey. So it only felt right to do that. I have the same white socks on from the previous outfit, but we have some black skinny jeans. They're a little bit shorter with the inseam, so they work good for crops. I gave them one roll. And then as we come up, of course, we talk about the jersey and then the black turtleneck pretty much sets everything off together. I mean, that is the entire outfit. The black cap, of course, matches it perfectly. The Birmingham Barons. This jersey, I got it from Amazon in case some of you guys may be wondering. It's not the highest quality jerseys, uh, but for the price, it's good. Everything is stitched. And if you guys been watching my jersey videos, you guys know I only really rock with stitched jerseys. And this is perfect because it's all stitched. Numbers on the back is stitched. Everything is stitched, which is great. I think the price for this was like 35 bucks, something like that. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys to check it out if you want. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do my best to link everything that I wore in this video. Some things may not be available because some things have been in my wardrobe for a long time, but if I can give you something that's similar or something that's very close to it, I will definitely do that. Let me know what you guys think about these three outfits, which one of the three were your favorites. Also, with these sneakers, let me, let me know what you guys think. Should I keep them or should I return them? I don't know if you could tell, from you know me wearing them with these outfits, but that stain on the back is really, really bothering me. And a part of me is like, man, I paid all this money for them. They shouldn't come like that, I don't want them. Another part of me is like, dude, just keep them. Uh, it, they're gonna get dirty anyway. But when you spend that kind of money on something, it shouldn't come damaged. You should be the one who damages it. You shouldn't buy it damaged. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. Should I keep them? Should I return them? What would you do? If it was your shoes and you paid the money for it, what would you do? Let me know down below in the comment section. Again, let me know which outfit was your favorite. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I do style and videos like this fairly often. I don't like to keep them limited to Jordans. I know you guys only care about the Jordans, but if you care about other aspects of style, other aspects of fashion, subscribe, turn on your notifications because I got videos dropping all the time. By turning on your notifications, you can see whenever I drop a video so you can come check it out or at least know I dropped one so you can watch it later. Follow me over on Instagram for other outfit inspiration, other style inspiration. I drop stuff there too, different looks, different styles, things like that. The upload marathon continues. We have, I've lost track of which day it is. We have a day or two left in the upload marathon. So stay tuned for that. And thanks again for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Peace.